grade school, when we first started counting, we used our fingers because, hey, it was easy. We only used integers, and our fingers are right in front of us. The numbers we were using could be organized and manipulated on those ten fingers. Later on, though, as the numbers in these calculations got larger and larger, this physiological limit of ten fingers caused a problem. This limit is also why our number systems are generally base 10, but let's not get into that. It's probably too much information for McLean to handle at one time anyway. So, scientific notation. Its whole purpose is to make working with large numbers more organized and simple. To put it another way, you are taking all those zeros on the end of large numbers and consolidating them into 1 times 10 to the whatever, so it doesn't take up as much space. Since we're in chemistry, it seems only appropriate to use the mole as our example. A mole, for any of you who are still unaware, is just a number, Avogadro's number actually, and this number is always 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, which for those of you who noticed is actually set in scientific notation. Now, how to actually use scientific notation? The way I see it, there are four steps. Step 1. Find the number you want to use. Like I said before, in this case, we'll be using a mole. Step 2. Put the decimal after the first non-zero number. Let me explain. One mole is 602 sextillion. Now at the very beginning you have that 602 and then after that you have a bunch of zeros. You take those non-zero numbers at the front and put the decimal after the first one. Now you put the decimal after the first number specifically because, well that's just like the syntax of scientific notation. You never see a number in scientific notation like 500 times 10 to the 6th because you could just put the decimal right after the 5 and get rid of those two extra zeros, making it 5 times 10 to the 8th. It's just more organized and concise to have that single number at the beginning. Step 3 Start at that decimal point and count backwards until you get to the end of the number. So in this case, you start after the 6 and count back. You end up counting back 23 times. Step 3 of B. Remember that number and make that the number to which you raise 10. In this case, you move backwards 23 times until you got to the end of the number, so you raise 10 to the 23rd. Step 4. So the final step, take those non-zero numbers at the beginning and isolate them, then multiply them by 10 raised to the number of times you counted backwards. And make sure to not forget about that decimal that you put behind the first non-zero number. But what about small numbers, like 5 times 10 to the negative ninth? Well, it is just the same process, except instead of counting backwards, you count forwards, or to the left. So in this case, you would count 9 places to the left of 5, and then put the decimal there. Alright, well that's all well and good. We know how to express a single number in scientific notation. But how would we do things like... Let's multiply 2 times 10 to the 3rd by 4 times 10 to the 4th. To do this, you multiply the first number in each pair. 2 times 4 equals 8, so you bring that down there. Next, you add the exponents on each number. 3 plus 4 equals 7, so you bring a 10 raised to the 7th down there, and you're done. Good times. Alright, we're almost done. I just forgot to... To divide two numbers, you use a very similar strategy. In this case, we'll divide 4 times 10 to the 3rd by 2 times 10 to the 5th. You start by dividing the first two numbers. 4 divided by 2 is 2, so you bring down a 2. Next. You subtract the exponents. 3 minus 5 is a negative 2, so you bring down a 10 to the negative 2. Alright, time for some practice. What would this number be in scientific notation? Ready? Go! Alright, what'd you guys get? Uh, actually, nah, I think I'll give you guys a little bit more time. Alright, if you got 9.53 times 10 to the 18th, then good job. If you didn't, then you may want to watch the video again. Now try this problem. 2 times 10 to the 7th 
times 4 times 10 to the third. Ready? Go. <laughs> The correct answer is 8 times 10 to the 10th. So if you got that right, good job, and thank you for watching.